Good morning. Thank you all for being here today for this retirement ceremony. This is the first of its kind for our department's canine agar. We are here today to publicly recognize the honorable service provided by LPD canine agar. After five years of service to the city of Lynchburg, LPD canine agar was diagnosed with bone cancer, which has led to this early retirement. In spite of his insatiable desire to work, the pain he is enduring due to his diagnosis has forced him off the streets. These facts, in addition to Agar's medical prognosis, has necessitated an early retirement. So let's talk a little bit about Agar. He's been with us since 2011, and he's worked with his two human partners, Officer Stump and Officer Gotzi. Just a little bit about the kind of stats generated by Agar. He is a dual certified apprehension and narcotics canine, which means he does two very different types of jobs, but he does them very effectively. As far as narcotics, seized over 14 pounds of marijuana, seized 210 grams of cocaine, 12 grams of methamphetamine, 140 grams of heroin, and if this wasn't enough, something that really brings it home to show you the type of force multipliers these canine teams are, he's taken six illegal firearms off the streets, making this a much safer society and place to live. So with that, I would like to bring up Sergeant Smith for K-9 Agar and present him with this retirement certificate. Sergeant Smith, Sergeant Smith is our lead K-9 supervisor for the City of Lisbon Police Department. For the honorable service that you have rendered to this city on behalf of, of the community and the police department, we thank you for a job well done. Thank you. Um, Again, thank you for everybody for, for coming out here and um, and honoring our buddy here. He, um, when I took over the the canine unit, you know, I mean, I had an idea about police dogs. I've worked around them before, um, but never really had a chance to to see, you know, just uh, how amazing the animals are. I mean, and you know, really getting down here and, and getting to to know um, the different personalities of the dogs and. You know, when we think about dogs and, you know, being a dog lover, um, you know, we look at their, just how they are with people. I mean, they're, they're just, um, you know, where they just love unconditionally. And these dogs not only have that, that same love and, and, um, and just unconditional desire to, to, you know, please dad, um, but they come out here ready to work. And... You know, what's amazing is, is that when these dogs get to the police car and they come ready to work, those guys are just hyped up the entire time. You know, and when I first came in here and was really getting a chance to, to ride with the dogs and, um, and get a chance to know them, um, you know, the way that it was explained to me by our master trainer as he came in here, he said, you know, the, these dogs, as soon as they're in there, they're just like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go work. And... You know, when they come out and they, they're doing a track or they're, they're, they're doing something with the, um, you know, where they're doing detection work or whatever else, they are just, they're just hyped up the entire time and they just want to, they just want to do that, that job and get it done. Uh, and, and Agar is no exception. Um, when we got the, um, the diagnosis from Boonesboro Animal Hospital, um, we were obviously devastated. We were, uh, we were upset for, for our friend uh, because... You know, a part of this is is just you know the, this guy's suffering, and when um, when the doctor explained to us about how this is this this type of diagnosis, especially especially with a working dog, um, she said, you know, it's just accelerated by the fact that you know he's just going to be so driven that it's just going to you know move this thing along that much quicker. And we've seen it, and we watched the you know the the dog get to the point where you know he's really having just a difficult time getting around. And, um, and it's heartbreaking for us because, um, because of how much that we love him and, and because of how much um, he wants to come out here and work. Um, you know, we brought him out here a couple weeks ago and he was able to get to a police car again. You know, he was just, he was just amped up. He's like, great, we're, we're going back to work. And, and, um, and it's difficult for us to see that, uh, especially after everything that, that Agar has done for us. Um, when, when our dogs get retired, you know, we try to see if we could put them in a situation with a home, whether they get, um, whether they get, uh, go home to, to live with the handler, 
um, or anybody else that um, is able to, to take them into their retirement life. And when we think about retirement, we think about it with, with us, with working folks. And you know, you've, you've put your years of service in, and then, and then it's time to go and just kind of you know, live the golden years. And, you know, with this situation, obviously, um, it was um, it's a little quicker than we had hoped. But, um, but Agar, as short of retirement as it may be, has earned it. Um, you know, the chief went through all the stats and the things that, that Agar has done here for the department. Um, he's been a, a backup to, to our patrol folks, uh, to SWAT guys, to all the neighboring jurisdictions uh, where he's been able to go out there and, and just just render aid, just help. And in doing so, he's kept not only you know the, the officers of the Lynchburg Police Department safer, but also the, just the citizens in general. Um, and we all hit, owe him a, a debt of gratitude. Uh, because of the, the work that he's done uh, with both his partners, uh, Officer Gatsi and, and um, Officer Stump. So uh, with that being said, on behalf of the canine unit, we have a, um, we have a plaque that we put together. And when, when our dogs get put, out of, get put out of service, we have a sort of a, a wall of fame where, um, where we go ahead and honor each of the, the dogs with a plaque. And it simply says Lynchburg Police Department for Canon Agar and his years of service in recognition of your dedicated service to the Lynchburg Police Department um, with handlers uh, Officer Stump and Officer Gotze. Um, and this is presented on behalf of the Canon Unit. Again, um, I just want to thank the, the folks from Boonesboro Animal Hospital for, the, uh, for the, the tireless work that they've done for us. Um, you know, their, their care for our, our dogs, uh, not just Agar, but all of them, and, and obviously helping us through uh, this situation. And, and again, I just want to thank each of you guys. You know, when we first thought about having this ceremony for, for, for Agar, um, it just made sense. We said, you know, this is, this is something that we would do for, you know, any of the, the officers out here that are, that are hitting the street and, and, you know, earning their time and service. Um, and Agar has earned it as well. So, again, on behalf of the Canine Unit, on behalf of the department, I, I thank each of you guys for um, for coming out here and, and giving him his due. So, um, with that, then that concludes this event. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody coming out and and honoring our friend, our buddy, uh, Agar. Thank you.